We've been dreaming about life on Mars for a long time. Not only about growing potatoes there in the future, but also about all the potatoes that could have been there in the past. Has there ever been life on Mars? Recently, scientists have found something that could be evidence of that. Let's find out what happened. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. A human hasn't set foot on Mars yet, but robots have set their wheels. The first spacecraft that visited the red planet were NASA Viking landers. They flew there back in 1976 and sent us a lot of interesting data. Back then, we didn't know anything about Mars. To us, it looked like a cold, lifeless desert. But since we're so similar, scientists began to wonder, has it always been like this? Or is it possible that once Mars used to be thriving and full of life? And in 2022, NASA's Mars rover Perseverance found something that could shed a light on this mystery. But first of all, what is Perseverance? Scientists have suggested that if there was life on Mars once, it's unlikely that it could simply disappear without a trace. It must have left some traces, perhaps underground, where they would be protected from radioactive solar tantrums and other nastiness. So we need to check the rocks. It's important to note that we aren't looking for life on Mars right now. There most likely isn't any. Instead, we want to look into the distant past of our twin planet. We're talking billions of years ago, when Mars could have been warm, green, and far from lifeless. In other words, we have to find dead microbes and various chemical compounds similar to ones on the Earth. This is the mission of our main character, Perseverance. It arrived on Mars in February of 2021. The spacecraft landed on the bottom of the 30-mile-wide Jezero crater. And after landing, it scooted over to the west, to the place that prompted scientists to choose Jezero for research. This place is a dried-up river delta, and this former river is already more than 3.5 billion years old. The Jezero crater itself was once a large lake. Yup, apparently there was life on Mars. And scientists have suggested that these places would be perfect as bodyguards of microbes. That's exactly what bacteria do on Earth. They hide, being still in the depths of lakes and ponds. So we could probably find traces there. The researchers believe that this particular lake has the highest scientific value in the entire mission. The highest chance to find rocks on which such bacteria could survive is here in Jezero. So Perseverance went to the delta. The row wasn't easy, though. The rover missed a little and landed further than planned. As one famous movie said, this little maneuver is going to cost us 51 years. Fortunately, Perseverance took only one year, and on the way, it was able to explore Jezero a little. The rover uses a complex built-in tool to explore the world. The tool is called Scanning Habitable Environments with Raman and Luminescence for Organics and Chemicals, or just Sherlock. Boy, NASA sure loves its acronyms. As the device approached the delta, the signal of organic molecules became stronger. Soon, these signals were everywhere, and besides, they were the brightest that the scientists have ever seen. What does it mean? Elementary, my dear Watson. You know, Sherlock. It's time to dig! Since July 2021, Perseverance has drilled and collected four thin cores of sedimentary rock. The total number of collected rocks at the moment is 12. This is the first time in history that we're collecting something like this on another planet. These four cores were found on two rocks called Skinner Ridge and Wildcat Ridge. The first pair of cores, the ones from the Skinner Ridge, don't seem very interesting at first glance. They're quite close to what we can find in many places on Earth. However, if we look at them closer, we'll see that they're dotted with round grains of some dark material. These dark grains could have once been deposited on them by an ancient river, the same one that flowed into Jezero. It's possible that the river brought them from places hundreds of miles away from Jezero. And that's pretty cool. If we study these cores, we'll be able to learn even more about the far corners of Mars. Well, there are no corners on it, but you get the idea. Then, in April 2022, Perseverance did arrive at the delta. And then scientists finally found what they were looking for. The discovery, to put it mildly, excited them. 
they found two more cores, which held organic substances. This pair was taken from the Wildcat Ridge. It's found very close to the Skinner Ridge, but the two rocks are quite different from each other. These samples are lighter in color and more uniform. Most likely, they're mudstone, an unusual rock similar to clay, but harder and unable to absorb water. They're also finer grain than the cores of the Skinner Ridge. Why does it matter? Because the finer the grains in the stone, the more likely it is that there may be some traces of a past life in it. On Earth, fine-grained stones most often lie on the bottoms of ponds and in similar places. There, they can preserve the remains of dead organisms and similar stuff for years. And this is exactly what we found on them. Additionally, according to scientists, there was more organic matter in these two cores than in any other place studied by Perseverance so far. It probably accumulated there while the lake was gradually evaporating billions of years ago. So, there really was life on Mars? Well, let's slow down a little. Organic substances are molecules holding carbon. And yes, on Earth, they're most often associated with life, but not always. Sometimes they can form as a result of other things. Therefore, we cannot say for sure whether there was life on Mars. We don't know if these molecules really remain from some Martian microbes, or if they're the result of some other things. But the discovery is still very significant. We have to literally keep digging this way. To learn more about this organic matter, scientists need to collect a couple more samples of fine-grained rock. It would also be great to study the material lying around these former reservoirs. Perseverance has already moved to another area, to a place with a beautiful name, Enchanted Lake. Now it needs to look for similar things there. It will also continue to study Lake Jezero. Eventually, Perseverance will climb to the top of the delta and then continue exploring ancient sites outside the crater. Sometime before the end of 2022, Perseverance will probably have six or more samples of the Martian cores. Unfortunately, its tools, though complex, are quite limited. This data alone won't be enough for us to get a complete picture. Therefore, NASA plans to send other spacecraft to Jezero in the coming years. Together with the European Space Agency, they're working on the next robotic mission, known as the Mars Sample Return. The name speaks for itself. These devices will arrive and take away all the test tubes from the old Prospector Perseverance. After that, these samples will be delivered to Earth, though not by Amazon Prime, and then scientists will be able to analyze them in advanced laboratories. However, all this will take a really long time. The launch of this mission is scheduled for 2027-2028, and the spacecrafts won't be able to return until 2033. But if everything goes well, it will be the first samples in history delivered to Earth from Mars. In other words, there's still enough space for research, literally. And yes, we don't yet know the true meaning of these finds. But that's why the entire mission was created, right? And who knows? Maybe in a few years we'll finally find out the truth about what happened on Mars billions of years ago. Ooh, check out the Martian! Made you look! To look. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.